What's your name? Harper. Harper what? What's your last name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My old boss called me Hudson G. Why are you Hudson G? Because I have um, a G in my last name. What's your nickname? Do you have a nickname? Uh, yeah, but I don't know what it is. I would say we definitely have an active lifestyle between work and family. We have two toddlers, um, five and three, and they keep us busy for sure. Our boy Hudson is five. He's uh, full of fun, uh, really interested in learning, and uh, he loves you know, being outdoors. He loves uh, being in nature. What do you do with a cactus? We, we water it. Yeah, but we never give it water, and it grows so big. Then we have Harper. So she is three and a half. She is keeping us on our toes. <laughs> or maybe because, or maybe, they or get maybe the rain, the rain gives it water and it grows much bigger. That's it, what, that's what I was going to say. It is a wash. And uh, so uh, with the work of Brent Kendall, uh, who is our architect, we figured a way to really take advantage of it uh, in a way that really sets us kind of right into the setting, puts us right into nature. It goes, it goes here. What goes there? The water. No, and then it comes underneath the bridge. Oh, we saw scorpions a lot um, and when it's nighttime. They're nice. Scorpions. They like us. The scorpions like Oh, we us. saw bobcats. What? We saw bobcats. Really? It was really nice. Oh, how do you remember um, a tiger in our house? You saw a tiger in your house? No, a long, no. long time ago. Did you ever see a snake here? Yeah, mm -hmm. lots of times. Like no. right over there, this on the dog rack. We're going under the bridge. Like this. The snake is right here. No, it was right here. The snake no, was right here. The no, here. Remember? No, actually it's right here. No, it's not. No, yeah, it is. One, it goes back. It really is. Back. That's mine. No, I found it. Harper, those are mine. You can get it's more. gonna break! <laughs> what other animals did you see here? Where was the bobcat at? Bobcat? Um, it was a row of It was up there. Where at? And a row of And a row of rumber. A what? A row of rumber. Um, I was running all the way down there. Under, under. Underneath the bridge? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, let's go under that fast. Yes, we do have road rumbers. <laughs> Quite a bit of them. You know, we're very much part of nature, even though we're really part of the city. And the wash is actually a little kind of freeway, uh, in large part, for those animals. It was a challenge, and um, we did struggle with the type of home that we wanted to build. Can we get our family home onto this lot? Um, and then we went met Brent, and he saw it, I believe, as an asset. And let's build part of the home on the front. Let's build a bridge over the wash and then the main part of the house on the back pad. We have to duck. Everyone duck. But we really want them to learn to respect the desert yeah. and to understand it and, uh, and also to appreciate it. Does the desert hurt when you fall sometimes? No. Sometimes. Um, um, let's go. Can we go? Can we go back on the, the bridge? Don't 
So when you come in through the front door, you are kind of greeted by the foyer, and the foyer is kind of curious because you have all this glass and you come in and there's uh, a hallway. It is a um, enclosed bridge that connects the front of the house to the back. Um, on the right side, we have our artwork, and on the left, it's just all open windows. So when you walk down the hallway, it's kind of like a grand entrance into the back of the house. Banana bread is ready. The kids are usually where we are, but the nice thing about it is we have a lot of room. And for me to be able to be in the kitchen, cooking, preparing food, cleaning up, and to be able to have the family here and the kids here where I can keep an eye on them and engage with them too and play with them too was really important. Do you want water? Do you want delicious banana bread, Mom? Yes. Okay. We've arranged the kitchen where their place settings, their snacks, their food are in an area where they can be independent and help out. We're here in this room are kind of our, during our waking hours. We're here probably 80% of the time. To be able to have the doors open, the windows open, the fresh air, it puts you in a great mood. What's your favorite food that your mommy makes? Um, I like guacamole. What? I love guacamole. And is this where you always eat your dinner? Mm, well, not really. Where do you eat dinner at? <laughs> what kind of foods do you eat at home? Um, guacamole. And right off of the kitchen area, we have uh, five vegetable beds. And so it's basically 10 steps from the main part of the kitchen to be able to get you know, all the vegetables and herbs and various things that we have growing just outside. I only like cucumbers. <laughs> but daddy's cucumbers taste good? No. <laughs> no. Really? No. <laughs> I can go in it though. <laughs> what color is yours? White and brown and blue. The real important thing with their rooms is I wanted to have them a little more transitional and traditional and timeless. We wanted to have um, a contemporary, more of a transitional bed, I would say. We have a lot of windows, a lot of openness. We can really see the views outside. After you leave the sleeping area, you walk into a hallway and take a right, and that's our master bathroom. Open windows. We have a um, standalone soaking tub, which I was so excited about. Show me where you've seen a scorpion before. Coming into my room. Really? For real. For real. A scorpion was in your bedroom? Really? Did you have a scorpion in your bedroom too? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think the appreciation of a desert it comes with being here for a period of time. Uh, that is one of the main reasons we love modern architecture in this space is that it really brings that part of it into the home every day.